Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about biliary hamartomas. Biliary hamartomas are also called as von Meyenberg complexes. They are also called as von Meyerberg complexes or biliary hamartomas. So as the name says, these biliary hamartomas are mainly described by the scientist or by the doctor von Meyenberg. It is discovered by von Meyenberg. Berg. Now, um, these are what are these actually? These biliary hamartoma, hamartomas are small focal developmental lesions. These are definitely small. Okay, they are focal. What is focal? They are not present diffusely, but they are present at certain parts of the liver only. And these are mainly some problem. These occur because of some developmental issues. So these are small focal developmental lesions present in the liver. And these have, uh, these are actually due to some, these look like some dilatations. Okay, so these are mainly due to some dilated ducts. So these are mainly due to some dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. So dilated intrahepatic bile ducts with dense collagenous stroma. Dilated intrahepatic bile ducts with dense collagenous stroma are seen, are called as biliary hamartomas. hamartomas. These biliary hamartomas are usually present isolated. They are single. They are not associated with any other diseases. Or sometimes they are also associated with some, they are also associated with some congenital disorders. That is those disorders which are present since birth. So these are associated with some congenital disorders like they are associated with congenital hepatic fibrosis or they can also be associated with polycystic kidney disease or polycystic liver disease. They are associated with polycystic kidney disease and polycystic liver disease or they can also be associated with carcinoma of gallbladder which is called as cholangiocarcinoma also. So if you see on USG how do they look? So these biliary hamartomas on USG if you see they are seen as simple, single, they are either seen single or sometimes they are seen multiple well defined number one they are defined clearly so the wall can be their wall can be clearly noted so this they are well defined and they are hypoechoic and these are seen as nodules which are almost solid nodules and they are less than one centimeter in diameter so they are well defined hypoechoic solid nodules which are less than one centimeter in diameter and in the liver, in the liver, if you see, sometimes they might be seen or they might be associated with bright echogenic foci also. Actually, these can be hypoechoic or rarely they can also be hyperechoic also. They can be hypoechoic and rarely they can be hyperechoic also. So they can have bright echogenic foci are seen along with distal comet tail artifact can be seen in the liver. Then sometimes we can also see some echogenic foci are also seen. These are because of some tiny cysts which are seen and these cysts actually the cyst, what is a cyst? Cyst is a no, walled structure along with some fluid inside it but still they are seen as solid nodules on ultrasonography they are actually observed or uh, they are actually seen as solid nodules visualized as solid nodules this is because there are cysts and they have some uh, filled area fluid filled or some filled thing but still it looks like solid nodules because they are these tiny cysts are actually beyond the resolution of ultrasonography 
that means the ultrasonography cannot pick these cysts they pick these cysts so as a result these cysts look like some tiny echogenic foci so if you see on cct so as a result if you do a cct examination to these patients we can see presence of hypodense nodules are seen in cct so if you see histologically first as already said these are actually on histology you can see presence of these cystic things these are actually dilated ducts and these dilated ducts are surrounded by this a pinkish material which is nothing but collagenous stroma so this is how we see in histological uh, histology similarly if you see an ultrasound picture of these cysts number 1 these are actually single they can be either one or they can be multiple more than one and they are many and they are well defined here you can see hypoechoic lesions these are hypoechoic lesions which are actually some dot like structures are seen because they are less than 1 cm in diameter and they are they are seen as solid nodules or sometimes we can also see as though they are bright echogenic foci this is whitish areas these whitish things these are these look like bright echogenic foci are seen and we can also uh, these are associated with distal comet tail artifact that means it's an echogenic foci and this echogenic foci is surrounded by something like a comet so it is given has distal comet tail artifact okay these echogenic foci are mainly because of the cysts which are beyond the ultrasonography resolution because ultrasonography cannot pick these echogenic foci so as a result it looks like this only this one is cyst which you see this is the only one which looks like cyst but these mostly look like dots but actually these are also cysts these can actually diagnosed by cct similarly this is also uh, a von meyenberg complex patient which shows many echogenic foci are seen along with some hypoechoic one less than 1 cm solid nodules also so this is about biliary hematomas or von meyer von meyerberg disease thank you